much for clicking on the video. My name is Leah and let's get into the drama of it all. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta's reunion looks. If you watch my review for last Sunday's episode, I did a spicy corner where I discussed how I felt about the reunion looks based off of the leaked photo that came out. But we finally got actual like clear pictures as well as pictures from the ladies themselves of their outfits that, you know, show us a different aspect of their garments. And I'm also going to be talking about this clip that Andy posted about somebody having the receipts of all receipts. So let's First, get into we're it. gonna talk about the clip that Andy posted of him pretty much saying somebody gave one of the most shadiest receipts in like Real Housewives history. You know, we gotta take it with a grain of salt, but I'm gonna play that for you and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the clips and then we're gonna get into my opinions about the ladies' outfit choices for the reunion. We have a receipt that has been entered into the reunion lexicon. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who brought it, but I'm gonna say it is quite possibly the shadiest receipt <laughs> in the history of the housewives. That's all I'm saying. I don't wanna overpromise, but no, this one is fucking shady as shit. <laughs> it's That's all I'm saying. We you just heard Andy and him saying that this receipt is going in the lexicon of receipts of like the shadiest during the reunion. If I'm going to be all the way like honest, I, I we you got to take what Andy say with a grain of salt when it comes to these housewives, um, the house, like the reunions, because he hypes them up. And then when it comes time for the reunion, we're just like, this was you this. This is what you was talking about? Because this ain't, this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. But um, honestly, the only two people I think brought the receipt is either Drew or um, Candy. I feel like nobody else needed to bring a receipt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, uh, possibly Sheree, but I don't know. You know what? Three people. I could see Sheree because we saw them last time. We saw Sheree whip out her phone to like call um li Mr. Libations. We also saw Drew do the Drew the same thing. Like try to just so I'll say three people. So Drew, Sheree, or um or Candy. When it comes to Candy, the receipt could have been thrown at four people, which is she had issues with Courtney in the beginning of the season. She had issues with Sheree. What about Sheree talking about like, you know, you didn't support me, Marlo and her nephew situation, and then Drew in this kissing situation. Now the Marlo situation, I don't think any Candy would jeopardize her reputation or her image to bring up something shady about someone's untimely passing. So I would take Marlo out, but I feel like who else would she throw this at since Candy has so much animosity with Marlo throughout the season? But I guess she could throw this shady thing at um, Drew to prove that she's not lying about Drew and Latoya possibly kissing. But that's who I feel like Candy. Those are the four people I feel like Candy would be throwing this um, this shady receipt at if it is Candy. Now, if it's Drew, Drew would be throwing this either at Candy, um, Marlo, or Sheree. But I don't think she drew got it in there to come at Candy like that. So I feel like it would be this receipt would be designated for Marlo or Sheree. And then when it comes to Sheree, Sheree could possibly throw a receipt at Ken Kenya when it comes to like the whole Martell situation at Ross's birthday. But Martell and Sheree aren't even together anymore. And we all knew it was like a fake relationship. But I guess she could either come at Candy and possibly Drew. So those are the three peoples I could see throwing this receipt. Now, I don't think it was Kenya or or th the receipt was thrown at Kenya or Sonya because if you listen to the video, you can hear Sonya at the end being like, yeah, it was shady. Like you hear her at the end and you can hear Kenya giggling throughout. So maybe Kenya brought the shady receipt, but who would Kenya throw the shady receipt at other than Marlo? But I don't think Kenya cares enough to do that. But I don't know. I really do think it's it's the three I said, Sheree, Candy, or Drew. I really don't think Kenya brought the receipt. And I don't feel like Kenya, I don't think we've ever seen Kenya bring a receipt other than with the whole Apollo situation because she had the text messages. But yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's Kenya. But give me your thoughts below and let me know who you think All it right, is. All right, y'all. So if I'm going to be honest, when it comes to these, this reunion, I... 
I strongly dislike this color. Like I like the color, but I strongly dislike this color as their color for the reunion. And the main reason why is because it reminds me of Potomac. And it's feeling like Atlanta copied Potomac when it shouldn't feel that way because Atlanta was here first. But it's like, we at the last reunion, we saw them in blues. We saw them in different variation of blue. And now we're at this reunion and y'all got them in aqua when it's basically aqua marine is basically in the blue family and everyone's doing different variations of that color. And the funny thing is there's like three outfits. No, actually one, two, three, five outfits that I can see some of the ladies on Potomac wearing on their for their outfit for the uh their reunion for last season so I just ex I, like I don't know I just don't like it and then the backdrop is um the backdrop is Portugal and we know the Potomac ladies did yellow for Portugal and I feel like they should have did like one of those like colors not yellow but maybe green I feel like green is such a pretty color and we haven't seen a cast do like all green I know the Potomac Lake not the Potomac Lake, I know the Atlanta girl is I think it, that was like I want to say season eight reunion or season nine reunion they were wearing those types of colors but like not the whole entire cast so I just I don't like it I'm gonna just be honest I just I it's not it's not given but I'm gonna do my best so a uh, link will be below to the Bravo Insider page where you can look at the designers and like the people that did makeup and all of that stuff. But also I got pictures of the ladies on their um, Instagram. Only a few of them posted, but I'm going to feed those in as I talk about their outfits. So let's get First into up it. is Candy. I would give Candy a seven. It's a serviceable outfit, but it reminds me of wendy's outfit where it's like blue like it has the hints of blue in it but it also has like champagne colors same thing what wendy did with the peacock and the champagne colors um her body looks nice the makeup is nice um the blunt bob you know bob so you calling me bob 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 but um it it feels like candy probably had this in her closet and was like let's go to the reunion it's not like wowing me and it doesn't seem like she tried versus what we've gotten from her with season 14 with the pinup girl look for the dungeon and then season, no, that was season 13. Season 14 was with her wearing the goddess um, logs and she like, I feel like the, this isn't really her trying. It's just like, I'm here. I'm at the end of the couch. So just be happy I'm here. And this is like my maybe 15th or 14th reunion. I ain't got to do too much. So I would give this outfit a seven. Next is Sheree. I think this color actually looks nice on Sheree, but I don't understand the corset. And then when you look even closer to the corset, the drawstrings for the corset has those metal tips that you normally see in like hoodies or like workout hoodies. And that's all I can think of looking at the dress where I'm just kind of like, why did y'all add that? I think her makeup looks nice. I feel like she should have went with a different hairstyle. One thing I will say when it comes to Sheree is her taking the, I don't know what's wrong with Sheree's face when it comes to them ensemble photos, because here she looks fine. She looks relaxed. She looks calm. But when you look at the ensemble photos, Sheree looks like she's straining the smile, like she's constipated. And I don't get it. I don't get it. I think the dress is pretty. No, not pretty. I think the color is pretty, but I would give this a six because I don't understand the concept of adding the corset. Like, the, like, it's not doing it for me, so I would give this a six. Um, we then have Sonya. Sonya is giving 2010 prom. I mean, her makeup looks nice. Her hair looks really pretty. But it's this is a basic outfit, and we know the, the focal point is supposed to be her belly. So, of course, they weren't going to put her in nothing crazy. So I would give this a seven, but it's real basic. Like, I could see somebody in high school wearing this to prom or winter formal. And I was like, okay. So I would give this a give this a seven. I do like the color on her, but yeah, it's not it's, it's not it's not doing it for me. It's, it's not. So let's talk about Miss Kenya. So when it comes to Kenya, I'm gonna give this a six. I'm gonna give it a six because I feel as though she got a lot going on. Like I don't like her hair. I think her makeup is fine. But she has so much going on. The feathers on the shoulder. You got the under boob here. And then there's feathers at the bottom. And my thing about it is, is I feel as though. Oh, excuse me, y'all. My bad. 
I feel as though if Kenya were to take off the feathers on the shoulders, the dress would have been a lot prettier to me. And it probably would have bumped this up to like maybe an eight category. But but it feels like it's so much going on. Like this outfit is reminding me of like the unconventional challenge in RuPaul's Drag Race where they have all them if they it's like a playoff of project runway where they have like all those different items and they have to make up an, a, an outfit in like two days time it's giving that like can you just like whoever made this outfit just wanted to put a whole bunch of stuff on it because i feel like had they ripped off those um the feathers that go all the way because they i think they come up here and then they go down the shoulder I, I think the dress would have looked better with just the sleeves and then the feathers at the bottom. I don't mind the under boob. I saw some people saying they didn't like the under boob, but I actually think under boob and side boob is a lot cuter than full cleavage, but that's just me. But I would give this a six. I would give this a six because in my mind, I can see it being a lot better if you were to rip off them like shoulder things. I feel like that would be way cuter. Who's next? Let's do Drew. Drew, I want to, like, I don't like her this. I've, this, this, this is a five for me. This outfit is a five for me. I will say she posted a better picture of her dress on um, Instagram, and I'll feed that picture in. But I don't like her hair. Because at first I just thought her hair was slicked back, but then when you look at her outfit on on Instagram, she got a, she got a pump, she got a little bump up here. I thought we let go of the bump. We let go of the bump. She got a bump and then all the flowy hair. I mean, her makeup is, whoever did her makeup did a wonderful job. Because the picture on Instagram is way better. You can see it. They they beat that face. Her face is beautiful. But this dress, it just feels like they ran out of time. <laughs> because it's a corset where they just put drapage around the shoulders. And then they sewed in the, in the rest of the fabric that they didn't use. Because they possibly were going to probably make the dress a different way. And just sewed it underneath. Because it's not... Because the picture on Instagram kind of made it look better. But then you look at it and you just realize that it's just a corset with drapage on the shoulders. And then they sewed it underneath. Like, I, I don't know. It's giving like they ran out of time. So I would give this a five. I really, because it, it also reminds me of Larsa's dress for um, Real Housewives of Miami, where it was just a um, corset and some underwear, and they sewed, like, mesh tulle around her outfit and called it a day. And this is kind of what it's given with, um, with Drew, because it's just a corset, and then underneath, it looks like they sewed the rest of the fabric and, and was like, you know, we made, you know, a shawl for her. Now we got to make some, make the bottom. So I would give it a five. Mm, who else? Marlo. So Marlo's outfit. I like the color on Marlo. I think the color is really pretty. When I first saw this, I was like, mm, okay. I would give it an eight. The only reason why I would give it an eight is because I saw Marlo's pictures on Instagram and it actually made the dress look better and I actually like the detail of the drapage of um at the bottom of the dress like I was like okay that's actually like really pretty and like the detail was actually like really nice it is basic though I will say that it is basic but I think the color and the detail I I like I really do like it it's basic though it is basic but I would give I, I'll give her that <laughs> Because it kind of reminds me of, um, is it Aaron Leon Talley's when he would wear his draped outfits and then Rihanna's outfit with the, the yellow, like that iconic outfit that she wore during the Met Gala. It's giving that to me. And that's one of my favorite looks Rihanna has ever worn. So I, I'll give this an eight. I, well, yeah, no, I'll give it an eight. I ain't going to renege. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. It, because Marlo's pictures online gave it more justice. And Marlo's makeup, face is beat. Whoever did that makeup, beat. And I think Marlo has the nicest shoes out of everybody. So I would give her an eight. So we did Marlo. So we did all the main girlies. So let's move on to the friends. Because they were there too. So Miss Mayetta. I like this color on Monietta. I would have to give this a um, a six because I will say she did pants and we don't normally see the girls wear pants, 
but I like this color on my Yetta, but them pants are too tight. Like whenever you wear those types that like the silk cloth pants, if they're too tight, anytime you sit down, it bunches it up. And it also looks like this is wrinkled. And I don't think she would walk out there wrinkled like that, but I can tell that it's probably from her sitting down and getting up and sitting down and waiting for them to pull her on the stage because it looks like it bunched up there. She had a really nice photo of it on, um, what's it called? On her Instagram. And it looks better, like I didn't, cause you can't even tell, like you can't even see on the side that she has like a little, like an embellishment of like a, I don't know what you call that. It's not a full sleeve, but half a sleeve that looks better on, like it looks better on her Instagram in a different light. And the you can tell that they did uh, a really, whoever made the corset was really detailed about how to like lay certain things. But even on the picture that she showed for uh, her Instagram, it still looks like it's not ironed because she has creases on it. Her makeup looks nice, but I that's why you can't wear those types of pants when you got thighs. When you got thighs and a gut, you cannot wear them type of pants. You just can't. You just can't. But I would give this a seven because she was, you know, she went out of the box with the pants because we normally, like I said, we normally don't see the girls in pants. Every blue moon will see them in like a cat, like a, is it a cat? Yeah, a cat suit. And this is probably a jumper set too, but I'll give her that. I think the color is what's giving it for me because I like that color and that color is actually nice. So I would give her a seven. And then last is Miss Courtney. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I thought Courtney looked the best. I thought Courtney was best dressed. Like, you could tell she got a boob job because her titties was not that big. But I don't know, something about it. And then I saw the picture that she posted on Instagram. And that Instagram picture, Courtney looked expensive. Courtney looked like she got the funds. Courtney looks expensive. So I would give her an eight. Like, her boobs look great. Um... The outfit is cute. They tried to, like, some people try to play her and say she got it off of Fashion Nova. And, I mean, I could see somebody say that, but, like, this, you know, this reminds me of the African girlies. When I I was looking at the pictures of the African girls for, I think. Ooh, editor Leah coming in. I'm realizing that I said the wrong franchise. So, I'm going to end up saying Real Housewives of Johannesburg, but I meant Real Housewives of Legos. Their cast, um, like their intro card outfits, they all look beautiful to me. Even the outfits that they wore to the premiere party, all those girls came dressed to impress. <laughs> they came dressed to impress and let the people know that they are here and ready to serve looks. So I just wanted to let you guys know my mistake. And they, they came out playing no games. No games for their um, cast photos. Those ladies looked beautiful and i feel like they would probably wear one of these like one of them would be in this dress and it would it would eat i i think courtney is best dressed for me i know a lot of people don't like courtney but this i this picture she did it for me she did it for me yo. okay so yeah y'all that's all i got to say that is all i got to say let me know down in the comments below who was your best dress if you think they should have went with a different color like give me your thoughts so, as always, remember to be bravely authentic and hop down in them comments below. Deuces.